Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Mungades Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is uh, your monthly reading for May 2024. And this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And we are looking into what is coming your way. What is the theme of the month first? And then um, exploring this a little bit deeper. So let's see what is showing up in love for you. Or other areas we will see okay so we've got the riddle and Alithea which is act of truth okay so it looks like you are going to solve some kind of puzzle in May and um, the truth will come to light okay is that a good thing <laughs> Let's see, what is that about? It's like a countdown right now. Um, five, four, three, two, one, and the riddle is going to be solved. So it's any time now that you are going to come to some kind of realization, some kind of truth. Let's see what we can find out about this riddle first for the month of May. What is this riddle? Okay. Integrity, dance, cooperation and frozen. Okay. Oh, there is lots of energy, movement, very good. So this is the bottom of the deck, four of cups. So maybe it is a dormant situation, uh, which is coming back to life. It also is possible that you have been emotionally frozen because you were hurt and now the fire is starting up within you and you are starting to take taps, steps, <laughs> taps, because I was looking at dancing. It's like tap dancing and enjoying yourself and moving with the energies, going with the flow and cooperation with someone. So Virgo, it does feel like it, this riddle, that because you were trying to shut your heart down, uh, the riddle you couldn't solve. Because in order to solve this riddle, you needed to throw out. And now you have the fire within. You are literally coming back to life. And uh, maybe in a, in a certain area, like in business, uh, you are starting to work with like-minded, like-hearted people. Things are coming together, attracting people to you. And in your love life, in your private life, in regards to friendships, it's also possible um, that things suddenly will make sense. So let's say about this Alethea, this act of truth, self-confidence, which is the eight of wands, more fire, showing with the support queen of pentacles and the flow so see this is what needed the frozen water is now flowing the fire within melted that water this confidence this self-expression uh, created the change within you and now you are this queen of pentacles, again, loving, caring. It could have been that you were um, completely uh, uh, drained, exhausted, things hit you really hard. And now you are starting to, to feel again. Wow. Um, I'm oh, sorry. Who? This, um, <clears throat> I just got this emotional wave and um, it's uh, hard to speak. 
for some of you. Okay, let's just keep going and I will come back to this. So for some of you, it could be that you lost loved ones. It could be that you were put into a tailspin and uh, this nose dive really um, made your world uh, and the feeling of being alive unbearable. Okay, so now your heart is open and you start allowing yourself to feel, not repressing emotions so much. You are going to feel different in love connections as well. And uh, so this um, dream weaver could be someone who meant a lot to you and now is not in this world. But finally, you managed to find that fire within and the order in your world is being restored. You found your balance again. Okay. Right, this is a difficult one. It's such a strong feeling that I can't shake it off, so I might need to stop the reading while I am trying to push through this. So let's see <clears throat> what challenges are going to arise this month in except of emotional um, expression. It's like a dam being opened and the water finally flows again. Um, I have so much pain in my throat chakra right now from the pressure of not expressing because you froze your feelings before and it needs to be released, it needs to be expressed. So let's see what are the challenges that are waiting for you this month in regards to the riddle and the act of truth. Go with the flow. Everything is about water today. Go with the flow. This Fibonacci spiral is the building block of the universe and it also represents so much movement. It's like an avalanche of energy. You, um, okay, <laughs> climate change and sea levels rising and all of that is being downloaded into my head. Um, so it's like when the ice melts, uh, the water flows and things are being washed away. Everything that holds you back from being this gorgeous phoenix who you are. So now we are shifting between fire and water, but the picture really is that you may have been asking yourself, that's why the riddle is there, why things are so difficult, why am I still struggling? It was because it may have been a... Um, defense mechanism to freeze your emotions to be able to cope with life and now you are ready to melt them it may um, be a bit challenging to not to be swept off your feet by the water which is melting oh my god <laughs> spirit is really speaking you are enough Virgo this could also mean that you are going to unite with someone um, who is very important to you. You could be, um, 
to be honest, it could be new love, but I feel that for many of you, it also could be a twin flame connection where union steps taken towards union is happening in May. I'm telling you this because spirit is showing me this epic journey to 5D and raising your vibration. So, um, wow. The act of truth. Right, so this was very big because I lost my dad. Uh, quite, well, I don't even remember, remember how many months ago now, more than two years, yeah. And um, I know that many of you also did. So let's, let's just not go there. What is happening is um, this giant shift is um, helping you to stop the struggle and shift higher in, uh, in frequency, in vibration. And uh, work on your masculine side here is showing that you may have adopted lots of masculine strategies, even if you are a woman, to keep your heart locked up. But now when you are finding that balance, allowing the masculine and feminine within to unite and maybe even in love to unite, with someone else, like in the physical world, uh, this abundance of flow of energy and light and love will take over that struggle, that pain that you were dealing with before. The light within, it's a white painting, the light within is going to come back and your mission, your passion, everything is just pushed forward, accelerated. And um, wow, this is just so um, deep and, and beautiful. You need to allow to express yourself, your feelings. And um, I promise you, I am usually not taking it so bad when channeling is coming through sometimes because you know if you are an empath a sensitive intuitive you see uh, sense others emotions and sometimes they manifest in your entire body and i think the reason why i'm handling it so badly right now because it's not just my own i can feel literally the collective pain and i can hardly speak so this is something that is going to create waves, positive waves around you as well. People will respond to you differently, your friends, your close family, your, your close circle. And um, I'm going to look into this love side of things. <clears throat> okay, what is this? I do apologize for these cards being uh, <laughs> crossed over and everything because this was my very first um, deck I printed on my comp on my printer before it went into print and it was properly done. So it is slightly different. There are a few cards in this one which I didn't incorporate in the other and that's why I was guided today to use this. Um, for that because that card is not in the other deck so what in love is this we've got the the four of ones already there so the twin flame journey is showing up it could be that you are now able to make a decision two of pentacles reversed about uh, this love connection which could have been a giant um, heavy burden on you for a while five of swords uh, maybe 
your person was arrogant. Maybe you tried to control the situation or they tried to control the situation or both. And now it looks like um, your wishes can come true. And the Ten of Cups, gratitude, your heart is after this shift, it's wide open and you will find the balance, the, the bliss that you were looking for. And you are becoming the queen of wands as well, fire. So from being frozen, you are now on fire in a very good way. You could be dealing with uh, a Capricorn, a Aquarius, Aries, Aries twice, Leo, um, was okay that's so far so virgo it's a giant change you went from frozen to flowing and this giant storm which was created now it could be a loss of a loved one who passed over it could have been your twin flame leaving you behind, um, uh, shutting you away uh, from them. And now as you are uh, moving through this, you are starting to flow and heading towards the 5D. So it does feel like a twin flame reading, but take what resonates from this. It could help others as well. And uh, as the result, you finally will find this uh, balance within uh, you of giving and receiving in balance. Right. That's the Six of Pentacles. So it looks like in May, there is a lot of shift going on within you personally. And... Um, in the connection where your love interest is going to respond to this giant shift within you in a positive way. So tell me about this four of wands, please. Fear. Nine of Swords, Liberation, that's the Judgment card. Liberation, Compassion, Indulgence. So, yeah, in regards to the Twin Flame connection, you two will break through some barriers and will get the wings. And the Compassion will melt their heart this is it so your heart is now melting and i am getting this like uh, the fire could come from your twin flame they may be bringing that fire in which then starts melting your heart yeah it's it's very well be because they are digging deep in their emotions and bringing in their fire is going to um, push both of you to feel to be pulled together becoming one uniting the karma is the temperance card you both could be suffering without each other and coming together is the only release, maybe. And then we've got the Two of Cups as well. Union. Okay, so this is quite a story here. Going from King of Cups, Tower, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. You both have your cup. And you are offering it to each other. And this is a journey to 5D. This is the twin flame dance. 
and you two are affecting each other's energy. Um, yeah, I am feeling that they might be coming towards you with fire and that's the fire that you need to melt the ice and then it's, it's just an unstoppable um, chain of events. You could be dealing with a Gemini, yeah, Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo. Okay, um, so let's see if this connection, where is it heading? This is a giant breakthrough, personal breakthrough, emotional healing, both within and in the connection, timing and labor of love. So it's seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, progress, um, things. <laughs> well, I always see this picture like um, a snowy um, landscape and uh, it's melting. The weather is becoming warmer and yeah, open hearted work shifts exploring where the twin twin connection can take the two of you knowing that you can't make it alone none of you can make it alone without each other wow virgo this looks like a very interesting month definitely bringing positive changes personally and in the connection, healing and love and the celebration of life. Let me know how it resonates. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting and I will continue this on Patreon. Take care. Bye for now.